In this tutorial, we're going to connect our app to the Firebase. So in order to do that, we need to open up the browser. So let's go to the browser and in here we can type Firebase or Firebase console like this. And then you go to this website. So open up this website. And now you press on create project. And in here you need to enter your project name. I will name it grocery flutter course like this and then you need to accept and confirm hit continue we don't need this google analytics but i will keep it on so with that if you need it for your project it will be included so now hit continue and for the server you can choose united states you can change it i will just keep it like this then accept the terms and then create and now this will take a few minutes or a few seconds okay so the project is now ready hit continue and it will take you to this page you can close this menu like this and you can open it again like this perfect so this is the landing page and you can access it by pressing on the project overview and now you can create ios android web or unity apps in our case the first app will be an android app now you need to fill up this information so the first one you can get it from our code so you can get it from many different places you can open up the app folder then src for example open up the main you can get it from this manifest file from here or you can get it from the kotlin file from here for example i will just copy it and come back here and paste it now type in your app name i will just name it grocery app and now for this key the sha1 we need it because in our case we will cover the google sign-in so it is required for the google sign-in the google sign-in will not work without it so we need to add it to our app so uh, you hover on this icon here and press see this page and since i am on windows you need to copy this one and change the user profile to your path anyways this command doesn't really work for me so i use a different command and the command I use, I will keep it for you and the resources of this lecture. And here it is. So it is like this and you need to change this, this path to your path. So uh, I will not generate it in front view because it is secured. So I will just add it to my app and continue. And when you finish, press on register app. Now when your app is registered, press on download this file and it will be downloaded and this file location will be inside of the app and they also set it here. So inside of this app, it will be available here. So drag and drop your file inside of the app. So in my case, I did it now. And now here it is, it is available inside of the app folder. Now we can proceed, hit next here, and now we need to add these dependencies. So for this one, it says in the project level, build Gradle file. So let's go to our project. And inside of the Android, we need to access this file, build.gradle. And even if you get confused between this file and this file, you just, for example, in this one, there is no class path. If you search for it, there is no class. So we go to this file and here it is. We have this class path here. So we go back to the browser and copy this and then paste it here and then come back to the browser. Make sure that the Google is already found in the repositories. And here it is. It's already found. Okay, done. Now in the app level, we check the other build the Gradle file, which is 
this one and we need to add a few more things we need to add this plugin so copy it and here it is we have this apply plugins we can add it here or I used to add it here in the last lines then we need to add this implementation for the Firebase and this one for the Google Analytics. So copy this one and add it below this implementation and also copy this one and add it below of this one. Now to make sure that everything is still working fine, cut the process and run the application again and let's see if it will work. Now I will go back to the browser and hit next and continue to the console and now we have our app here now let's press on build and in the next lectures we will start using the authentication where i will cover the sign in with email and password and sign in with google now let's go back to the file and wait till it finishes okay so there is an error and in here this error says that something related to the minimum SDK it should be at least 19 so what I'm gonna do is to go back to the build gradle file which is here and it change this minimum SDK version and that you can find it in the app level build.gradle file and I will change this one. I will put it 21, not 19. Now let's run the application again and wait. Okay, th so the process is done and here's our app and it is working fine. So in the next tutorial, we will start implementing the registration. So we will allow the user to register. I'll see you there.